Hi guys. I have sat down to record this at least five times now, and I I can't record it again. I'm just gonna put it all out there, and if it is a mess, then it's a mess, but this problem has been going on for so long, I feel like I am at my breaking point. <sighs> so three months ago, I had this friend. She was like my best friend, and her name isn't important, it really doesn't matter. She and I were hanging out one day and we found out that I had a new next door neighbor. I don't know how, but she made this neighbor fall in love with her. And I'm not talking like spending a lot of time together, going on dates and stuff like that. I'm talking within the course of less than two weeks, she moved all of her things into his apartment and was living with him. And at first I was all excited about it. I was like, hell yeah, best friend, moving in. It's gonna be great. We're gonna hang out all the time, have so much fun. And very quickly I realized how wrong I was. They started having sex at 4.30 in the morning every single morning. I can't even believe I'm making a video about this. This went on for about a month of me being woken up at 4.30 every single morning. Now, keep in mind the way our apartments are set up, even though we're separate apartments, my bedroom and the neighbor's bedroom share a wall. So I can hear pretty much everything. Now, I don't have a problem with sex. Do it, don't do it, whatever. But seriously don't do it at 4.30 in the morning when you know your neighbor can hear everything. So this goes on for a month and I'm texting them, begging them, pleading with them, please just stop having sex at 4.30 in the morning. I need my sleep. And they keep saying, yeah, we'll stop, we'll stop, we'll move the bed, you know, whatever. They don't stop, they don't move the bed, they don't quiet down. And this isn't even normal sex, like it's not just like the movements of the bed, it's literally wall banging, her screaming, apartment shaking. It is so horrible. I'll play a clip right now. So finally, after dealing with this for a month, and them not changing their ways, not doing anything about it, I go to the landlord. And the landlord, when he finds this out, you know, first of all, he's like, this girl is living here illegally. Nobody told me she was moving in. She's not on the lease. She's not even allowed to live here. And that's problem number one. Um, problem number two is that Two days after I go to the landlord, I walk outside and part of my bumper is hanging off my car and my headlight is kicked in. Now I have no proof that it was them because there's no camera in the parking lot. Um, I went to the police about it and the police were just kind of like, there's nothing we can do. And I asked the police, I was like, you know, is there anything I can do to protect myself to make sure this doesn't happen again, to make sure I'm safe? The police told me to get a gun. I'm not getting a gun. <laughs> so, basically I'm shit out of luck. Now, after a while, they stop having aggressive sex and they start aggressively fighting. And it got to the point where their fight was so bad, I had to call the police on them. I mean, it was, it was so bad, so loud, so out of control. And the police show up and they come to talk to me and they told me, you know, they didn't even have to ask which apartment it was because they could hear the screaming from the street. 
They didn't even get into the complex and they could hear the screaming. Basically, the police tell me that there's nothing they can do. You know, they can't evict the neighbors. I, I just, they told me that I had to keep calling the police every time it happened. And I've now called the police three times and I'm, I'm done calling them because they're not going to do anything. They can't do anything. And it's just a waste of the police's time at this point. So, after the police were called for the third time, everything goes quiet for a little bit. You know, I'm getting sleep, I'm not hearing any noises, and I thought everything was fine. It was actually really good for a full month. And then, four nights ago, I was woken up again at 4.30 in the morning to sex. The next morning, I texted my landlord, and he was surprised, and he was like, so you've heard from them? And I was like, well, if by heard from them you mean heard them having sex, yes, I did. And apparently, he's been trying to evict them. Um, now, he didn't, like, go into detail about the eviction. I don't think he really can, you know, for legal purposes, and that's fine, but what I do know is it's not going to be an overnight thing. It's going to be at least another two months before they're gone. And not to mention that while all of this was going on, after the first time I went to my landlord, the ex-best friend texted me, blowing up, calling me an idiot for trying to get her kicked out, um, made up this lie that she had found another apartment and I know it's a lie because it's now been three months and she's still there every single night having sex at four in the morning, waking me up. So I'm kind of just at a breaking point. I don't know what to do. I obviously am a non-confrontational person. Uh, I don't want to do anything to retaliate. I don't want to do anything that's going to incriminate me. And a lot of you are probably going to say, oh, just, you know, get earplugs. Hi. I got earplugs. I sleep with earbuds. Um, I've tried, you know, the Beats. My dad sent me Sony noise-canceling headphones. They are that loud that I can hear them, even with noise-canceling headphones. So, yeah, um... I have wanted to make YouTube videos for a while and now just seems like the perfect time because I really need help. And uh, if anybody has some suggestions, that'd be great. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys got a laugh or maybe have some suggestions for me. If not, that's fine. Um, and I'll probably be making videos in the future. A lot more ridiculous than this or maybe not maybe just more stupid videos of me rambling but either way you know if you liked it subscribe if you don't then don't but otherwise thanks for watching and have a great day y'all